Hello, my amazing ladies, and today I'm back with my video lesson and another challenge that most of us are face, are experiencing and facing during transformation journey, or actually in life in general at all, the negative self-talk. Who hasn't experienced it, right? The inner chatter, inner voice talking to you all the time, coming up with either supportive or negative arguments just to give you the feedback, to bring you back into your inner harmony, to who you truly are. And of course, we don't want to heal, hear or deal with the negative self-talk, especially because it makes us uncomfortable. And it points out the sides we would rather ignore, especially when we are addicted to the positives. Can you relate? And I want to bring you a little bit different approach than trying to control it, shut it down, ignore it, or pump yourself up with positive crap that can actually cause you more harm than good. And But first, let me just make a difference between positive and empowering self-talk. Because positive is wanting to see everything rosy when clearly there is a beautiful and clear rainbow in front of you, including the black color. And empowering talk is when you are seeing all colors, when you are fully aware of the rainbow, but you are choosing to focus only on the pink one. Can you see the distinction there? Because I have been observing my inner talk for a very long, long time, and I have become a great observer of it. And no matter how much I tried or how much I listened to positive advice, the inner self-talk was always there. And the more I tried to ignore or control it, it was only a matter of time when I could experience the extreme highs or downs as the result of it. The emotional roller coaster. Can you relate to it too? Until I gave up and started to paying attention to it. Until I learned that your inner talk is not your enemy, but it's your friend. That's right. It's your friend to bring you back to your neutral balance state in which you are actually <clears throat> the best version of yourself. And this is the state when you have balanced perspective and when you see events for what they are. When you are fully aware of both sides of the coin, the positive and negative one. Because when you are over positive, you most likely hear the inner critic to bring you a little bit down to see the other side of the story. And on the other side, when you are upset, then you are most likely experiencing the cheering inner voice to bring yourself up. And in reality, it actually doesn't matter what's happening because what you are experiencing is just a matter of the perspective. And it's the kind of feedback to you to tell you where you are in your life right now. And another fact which I learned very recently is from the, a fascinating book, which I'm reading these days. And, and the fact is that the moment when you have to decide what the event means for you is not made in your conscious mind. It's made in your subconscious mind, the unaware part of what, uh, the, uh, of what it actually the unaware part that is actually ruling 95% of your life until you bring the unconscious to conscious. Do you understand what it means? No matter how much you are trying to be in control of your thoughts or want to get rid of your self-talk, it won't go away un unless you learn how to bring unconscious to conscious and learn how to live in your balanced state. So, if you keep beating yourself up for not succeeding to be more positive or for whatever reason, my first advice to you is stop doing that. Stop messing up with your head and start learning the healing process. You can't live fully when there are stuck emotions inside of you because those emotions are actually ruling your life instead of you taking control of your life. Important point here, 
I'm not saying stop listening or learning about empowering self-talk videos or audios because there is a place for everything and it really depends on where you where in your journey you are right now. But once you learn how the mind and body works and that your inner critic is your friend, you will be able to process your emotions and thoughts and then able to make empowering decisions that are best for you. And learn to become the observer of your thoughts in, and emotions instead of becoming the reactor to it. Because becoming observer, it doesn't mean indulging in your stories, overanalyzing it over and over again, or being a victim of it. There is a huge difference between the observer and being the victim. So be aware of it. And lastly, but most important, send me some love and uh, likes if you found this video useful, if you learned something new. And also let me know how do you deal with your negative self-talk. What's working for you? Leave the comment below with also with your next questions or challenge you are going through right now. And I will answer that in next videos. Ladies, having information is simply not enough. Transformation starts by doing the work. So stop wasting your time and start living to the fullest. And now start learning. So if that's something you want to do, then uh, also click the link below and uh, schedule the clarity call and let's see whether we can work together and how. And meanwhile, have a great week. I wish you all amazing time and enjoy the summertime. Bye.